obesity and obesity related disorders is a global problem. That also means that a lot of young women in a childbearing age is obese and we know that these obese women give birth to children that has a higher risk of developing obesity and uh, lifestyle diseases themselves. So in that way, obesity and the related disorders is actually passed on from generation to generation, which will explode the problem. So in my PhD study, we try to look at how the unhealthy diet that the mom is eating during pregnancy might affect the offspring's ability to deal with an unhealthy diet after birth. The most important result we found in my uh, PhD thesis was if you're exposed to an unhealthy diet during pregnancy, you are actually better equipped to dealing with an unhealthy diet after birth. I was very surprised about this, that you can adapt to an unhealthy diet. Even though it's very sad that we have such a high percentage or prevalence of obese and obese sick people in the world, it actually seems like that the human species in some way are actually trying to adapt to this very unnatural thing of unlimited food supplies 24-7. But with this said, no matter what, if you're exposed to an unhealthy diet after birth or even before birth, you will have a tendency to become obese and develop these related disorders. So you would always prefer to be exposed to a healthy diet during pregnancy and a healthy diet after birth. Currently, I'm working at the Mouse Genetics Project at Wellcome Just Sang Institute, and we are trying in this project to elucidate genes that are important for obesity development and lifestyle disease development. And we are doing this in collaboration uh, with Tony Vidal Priest Lab at University of Cambridge. I was enrolled on this institute already during my PhD time and then just merged into a different lab as a postdoc. 